Hello, I'm Yasser Janab, Interventional Cardiologist in Tehran Heart Center, presenting the topic Endovascular Therapy of Pulmonary Artery Stenosis After Systemic to Pulmonary Shunt Operation, Radial Artery Approach. Surgical correction of congenital heart disease is currently performed as early as possible in life, yet systemic to pulmonary shunt operations are still required for palliation of some congenital heart malformations. One complication of these techniques is development of pulmonary artery stenosis. Our case is a 27-year-old lady presented with severe cyanosis and fatigue. Her saturation was 75% in room air. She was known case of complex congenital heart disease as double outlet right ventricle tetralogy of follow type with long segment of pulmonary artery atresia and large ventricular septal defect, which was not impossible for by ventricular repair. She underwent palliative modified PT shunt surgery when she was only two year old. She had no follow up until echocardiography and CT angiography revealed patent left PT shunt but severe left pulmonary artery stenosis adjacent to shunt. You can see the CT angiography findings. This is left subclavian artery and this is the PT shunt from left subclavian artery to left pulmonary artery. Also, the severe stenosis of left pulmonary artery between insertion of PT shunt and PA bifurcation is evident. This stenosis prevents blood shunting to right pulmonary artery. Left radial artery access was selected. We use 6 friend sheet, 6 friend Judkins right guiding catheter. We also use O35 hydroflake trauma wire to pass the BT shunt. Common support catheter, as you can see here, was used. It is compatible with O35 guide wires. V18 wire was used to pass the stenosis, as you can see in this video. This is V18 wire. Afterward, predilation was done with 4 mm coronary sapphire wire. After predilation, stenting was done with express renal stent. Express renal is a monorail stent system. It is compatible with 6 French guiding catheter and it is also compatible with O14 wire. You can see the final result. Pulmonary artery stenosis is not rare after systemic to pulmonary shunt operations. Pulmonary balloon dilation or stent implantation can be applied to any kind of symptomatic ipsilateral pulmonary artery stenosis in non-small children and adults. In addition, radial artery access could be applied in selected cases. Thanks for your watching.